Extractor fans are one way to ventilate. And as we remember, with ventilation, we want to remove air from the house. And so extractor fans should be effective at doing this. Um, of course, if we have an extractor fan, the air must come in somewhere. Um, extractor fans uh, use electricity, uh, so um, they need some power. Um, the the problem with extractor fans is, of course, that we're still leaking air and this air has heat. It's much more reliable than just opening a window because we know how much air is being blown out. We can control it better. Um, another system for ventilation that's more expensive is what's called MVHR. Um, this is mechanical ventilation with heat recovery. Um, for this to work, um, the building must be airtight. Um, it's relatively expensive to install this kind of system. Um, and it uses slightly more electricity than just using extractor fans. It does have an advantage, though. Um, and the advantage is that as it pumps air into the house, so it pumps air out and it pumps air in. So air's coming in, air's coming out. And um, it, um, as it pumps air into the house, the air takes heat from the air going out. So if you have a warm house in the winter, you're not throwing away all of the hot air or you're not throwing away the heat from the air. The heat from the air going out is warming up the air coming in. Um, it, it looks something like this. So you have a, a chamber in the middle where the air is kind of crossing. Uh, the air is not mixing, um, but the air is passing next to each other so that the air is warming itself up. It's the air going out is warming the air coming in. Um, so these can get to 90% efficiency or more. So we can get more of the more than 90% of the heat we keep in the house instead of throwing it all away as we do with natural ventilation and as we do with extractor fans. Um, so we get something like this where the air outside may be freezing, maybe at zero, and the air inside maybe at 20 degrees. So as the heat um, crosses it, each other, as the air crosses each other, the air coming in is heated up, the air going out is cooled down, um, and we so we keep we can keep most of the most of the heat in the house. Um, so if we can use this, we don't lose so much heat, so we can get fresh air, um, and it's more or less free heat. Um, we're not using any heaters to make this heat; it's just coming from air passing each other. Um, we may get some problems with this, um, and as usual, we need to think about humidity. Um, for example, if it's very, very cold outside, and if it's um, hot and humid outside, we can get problems um, either with the summer, um, if it's hotter and humid outside. As the air comes into the house, it can get very humid inside. Um, and in the winter, if it's very cold outside, um, the air leaving the house can drop below freezing and it may start to freeze inside the heat exchanger, uh, which you don't want. Uh, so there are, there are systems to, to prevent this. Um, but uh, yeah, humidity, humidity is always, humidity is always a challenge. Um, another, another issue or another choice with heat recovery ventilation is there are two kinds of, there's what's called energy recovery and heat recovery. Um, and energy recovery transfers the heat and the moisture. So if it's um, winter, uh, you have humidity inside the house. An energy recovery will keep that humidity in the house. Um, and in the summer, it will keep the humidity out of the house. Uh, heat recovery just transfers heat. So if you're just transferring heat, then it will get drier in the winter inside. And it will get more humid in summer in the inside. Um, the advantage um, 
advantages um, energy recovery may be more efficient and it may be better for the humidity balance. Um, heat recovery may be more hygienic, which is better, but of course it's losing it's losing humidity, so it can be very dry in the winter. Um, I'm not sure which of these systems is best. It depends where you are and it depends what system you can get. Um, so let's just finish by comparing different ways that we can ventilate. Um, and we're going to look at the cost. We can look at the running cost. We can look at the ventilation. Uh, then we can look at the heat loss and we can look at other things. So um, natural ventilation is the cheapest one to install. We have windows anyway. We just need to open them. Um, the running cost is very low. It doesn't cost anything to open a window. Um, but there may be too much or too little ventilation. And while it doesn't cost us anything to open the window, we are losing heat through the window and the heat costs us more so that our heating will go up if we if we open the windows all the time um, and we do need to if it's raining or if it's very windy we will want to close the windows we can't just leave the windows open the whole time um, extractor fans are more expensive they use some electricity and um, they will control how much ventilation you're getting so you can get the right amount of ventilation. Um, the Again, we're losing heat with ventilation. Um, maybe not as much as by opening windows, maybe more. I don't know, but we are, we're still losing heat, so it will make our heating bills more expensive. Uh, recently, houses in Japan have to have ventilation fans, extractor fans, 24 hours. Um, but what often happens when people move into the house is if the extractor fan is on all the time, the house starts to get cold. So people often switch them off. So they end up not having a well ventilated house. And if they're using if they're using fan heaters and burning kerosene, this is this is not good for air quality um, inside the house. Um, and so if you have an extractor fan, the air must come in somewhere. So we need to think about that. Um, mechanical ventilation and heat recovery is the most expensive to install. So when you're building the house, it costs you lots of money. Um, there is an electricity bill. The electricity bill is not very much. Um, and the quality of your air, the ventilation is very high quality. Uh, you can leave this switched on all the time. And it doesn't mean you have to pay lots for your heating. So your heating bills will become cheaper. Um, this will only work if your house is airtight. Um, but if we think back to our low energy building, we need our house to be airtight anyway for the insulation to work and to stop getting humidity build up, to stop getting condensation inside the insulation air. Um, so, that's ventilation. Uh, that's a reference. That's another reference. Good luck and uh, hope you have lots of fresh air. <laughs>